interest rates, inflation, gas prices, oh my, we're all wondering how's this all going to affect the rest of the third quarter here in the markets and take us out through the rest of the year. So what we want to look at here today is does this rally have legs, right? Is there further room in the broad market to trade higher? Are we getting close to having another fall again? So we're going to look at the August 2022 here. It's August 1st. Uh, update on the S&P 500 and important reminder that trading investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in this video. Now let's head to the charts. All right, I've got something brand spanking new here today where I have decided that I'm going to have a dedicated section here in my trade station for my skinny dips. That's what we're doing here now, right? Taking a dip, taking a close look at the market that is my baby, the E-mini S&P 500. Now, when it comes to the longer term time frame of the E-mini S&P, I actually like to look at the SPY when I'm kind of going long, monthly or beyond. So you can see here I have the monthly chart of the SPY. Now, what the SPY ETF is anchored to is the same thing as the E-mini S&P 500, right? It's anchored to the S&P 500 market, which if you're newer to trading is about 500 stocks that are put together and there's a weighted average. So some stocks like Apple have more effect on the end price of S&P and others are weighted less. So when we look at the SPY monthly chart, so every one of these Japanese candlesticks is representing an entire month of price action. We can see that last month here, July of 2022, was the best month we've had in a really long time. In fact, this looks comparable to October of 2021, November of 2020, or even April of 2020. Now, also notice that last month's range is completely inside the prior month's range, which is June. And that is called an inside bar. I get into the specifics and details of the awesomeness of inside bars in my GAN candlesticks trading system. But what I want to bring your attention to is that we need to really uh, clear the high of the July bar before I'm going to get more excited about what upside there might be. So another factor that's fueling the chance for this rally to have legs is the action that we're seeing off of the June low. So the June low on the SPY was 362.17, which was very, very close to a important long-term level at 359.16. And that level is actually the price aspect of a forecast. So it provides potential support. So the market is kind of hanging out right where I thought it would on its way down from this high. All right. And last but not least, we have the RSI power zones down below. That's my favorite way to assess momentum. And you can see that there's this lift out of the bull support power zone. Now, this is a monthly chart. So when you are looking at uh, analysis of a monthly chart, it's kind of like turning a big uh, cruiser with a lot of uh, you know, smaller planes and things on it out in the ocean, right? A big barge. You can't just turn it on a dime. So even though bullish energy seems to potentially be building up here, we need more evidence before taking big actions on it. So things are looking good on the monthly chart of the SPY. Now let's head over to the weekly chart of the E-mini S&P 500. So specifically, we're looking at the September contract. So if you're new to futures, the index futures trade and are on four contracts per year. They rotate between March, June, September, and December. So right now we are in the September contract. And then as it gets close, we'll move to the December contract. So looking at this action, you can see I have this set of lines here that's using a Fibonacci retracement tool, okay? But I actually adjust the levels to GAN levels. And my GAN levels, I talk a lot about in my various GAN education, but the most important level to me, one of my favorites is the 50% retracement for various reasons. And look at, we're getting kind of close to it, okay? That exact level on the September contract is 4215.5. Notice that's also very close to this high from June, 4204.75. They're about 10, 11 points apart. So that area between 4204.75 to 4215.5, that's an important area to watch for potential supply that might come in and sort of slow down the rally, okay? As you go down in time frames, that's when you start to kind of see more uh, potential twists and turns in the path ahead. On the RSI power zones aspect on the weekly chart, you can see that it has been recovering off of the low from late June, mid to late June, and is kind of hovering at neutral, meaning the middle of the RSI power zones, so not really giving one indication one way or the other. So we'll see if we get more color on the daily chart. 
All right, so now is the daily chart of the E-mini S&P 500 September 2022 contract. And here I have a couple important points to make. Number one, notice that after breaking out of this sideways range marked by the uh, red and sort of olive green lines here, there was a pullback towards that congestion and then the market traded higher. This happens quite often. Also notice that that pullback to the congestion range coincided with the RSI power zones approaching the bull support power zone. So when you see any sort of sideways action in a market and then it starts to break in one direction or another, be on guard for if price comes back and retests that area and look at how the RSI power zones are moving along with it. Okay, I've also taken the big picture retracement, that 50% retracement from the weekly chart and translated it over to my daily chart. So you can see that same level, 4215.5, again near the May 31st high. Now also notice that I have this vertical purple line out here. What does that mean? That is me calling for a forecast, calling for a specific point in time that I expect the market to potentially turn. And right now what I'm seeing is that this is a most likely going to be a place that we rally into. And if we can keep rallying past August 3rd, then this rally might have more steam to it. But if we, don't see much strength past August 3rd after rallying into it, recovering higher into it. And even more importantly, if we're not able to clear these resistance levels, that might be a really big problem for not only the aim in the S&P 500 market, but the broad market in general. Kind of may have run out of steam of the current rally and then see some weakness. Now, it's extremely valuable to analyze the timeframes we did here, and you get even more value out of them when you look at the lower timeframes, when you go down to intraday charts. And I do this multiple times a week, almost every trading day, actually, on the E-mini S&P 500, and I do this on a smaller time frame that is what I find to be the pulse of this market. So if you trade the E-mini S&P 500, if you trade the SPY, or if you trade any instrument that closely follows those markets, you wanna join me in the skinny on the markets because that's the best place to get the latest up to date on what I'm laying out and showing you here. All right, so this rally could have legs. That's what my analysis here is telling us. And we now know a couple factors that will come into play. Let's finish out with looking at the other side of price, right? We've been looking up and to the right. What if we look down? What if we look at down to the left at the past price action? Well, the most important recent price action that's defining this current run-up is here at 3913.25. So this level is extremely important to see if we maintain this rally. If futures trade below that, then there may be more weakness ahead, all right? So again, I'm gonna follow all this day to day, morning to morning in the skinny on the mini, which is part of the skinny on the markets. And you'll also see my S&P 500 stock picks come through this week, as well as my NASDAQ analysis as well. All right, remember to subscribe, like, comment, follow, and join my tribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the inside. You can sign up at the link to join my tribe and get my hot, timely, actionable updates as soon as I publish right to your inbox.